Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another edition of On the Range. This time, we're flying the A-10A Warthog in the Flaming Cliffs 3 module to DCS World, and we're going to have a look at bombing using the CCRP, Computer Calculated Release Point, bombing mode. So let's begin by setting up the cockpit for this type of release. Our HUD needs to go into the Air to Ground Master mode, so I had to press 7 to call up the required display. And you can see that I have four Mark ED2s selected. On my urban control panel, you can see that I have those 82s on station 4, 5, 7, and 8, as indicated by the green R. My release mode is currently at pairs. That means when I pickle off the bomb, two at a time are going to come off simultaneously. I want to pickle off one at a time this, this time, so let me set this to single. And I do that by left shift space on the keyboard. So it goes to ripple single, ripple pairs, and then to single. So now when I release a bomb, it'll be one, one Mark ED2 at a time. Okay, next a little bit about the CCRP release mode. Now this is an automatic bombing mode where you designate a target on the ground for the computer to provide you indications on where to fly. You fly to the desired location as displayed on your HUD, and then when certain parameters are met, the bomb is automatically released. Now let me demonstrate this by bringing up the target designator cursor, or target designator queue, depending on which manual you're reading. Engaging artillery at bullseye one, three, okay, if you see the on the head-up display at the very top, I have a circle with a dot. It just looks like a little pipper. It's moving down right now. That is the target designator queue or target designator cursor. Now I slew this around using slew controls, and I can show you these very briefly. If I go to my control menu, go to adjust controls, A10A, and I'm looking for the sensors menu. Target designator down, left, right, and up is accomplished by keyboard command period, comma, slash, and semicolon. If I want to return it to the bore side position back at the top of the HUD, I go right control I. But as you can see, I have those mapped to buttons on my throttle. I also have a target lock and a target unlock option. Those are by default enter on the keyboard and back on the keyboard. And again, I have those mapped to a, uh, what I feel comfortable with, a couple of buttons on the, on the joystick. So those are used to move the cursor around and also to stabilize it to designate a target on the ground and allow me to demonstrate. So I'm going to move the cursor and just pick a random target out in the distance. Move the cursor using those slew controls. I lock the cursor using the default lock control and in my case I have it mapped to a joystick command. Lock and I get a box. That box is ground stabilized so that's where the computer is going to calculate the proper steering for me to adhere to to release a bomb so that it will impact that target. So designating that point on the ground is step one. Step two is pressing the O key on your keyboard. That's going to put it into the CCRP release mode. And I'm a little bit closer than I want to be. I need a little bit more time to describe this properly, so I'm going to make a, uh, make a 180 here. So with the target designated on the ground, and O is selected to put me into the CCRP bombing mode, I now have a what's called a solution queue. That's the box with the dot at the very top of the HUD. What I want to do is align that vertical line called the P uh, predictive bomb release line, PBRL. Align that line with the solution queue. Now you can see right below my flight path marker, it's counting down. I have 6.5 miles slant range to target. Now that can kind of give that can give you a rough estimate of how close you are to a release, and it it varies depending on altitude. I would expect something around. I'm just making a wild guess, but about four miles, I should start getting that solution queue tracking down the release line. When the solution queue intersects the bomb reticule. At the bottom of the release line, the bomb is going to automatically release. So about a four mile slant range to target. I'm making general controls to keep the solution queue in line with the PBRL, predicted bomb release line, and that queue should start moving. There it goes, moving down the line, smooth control inputs, keeping it aligned with the line. 
There's no action required for you at this point. It's going to automatically release once it intersects. Okay, weapon away. And that was a CCRP release. The you, Unlike in the C model, you do not have to depress and hold the weapon's release switch. Once you press O to put it into CCRP release mode, it's going to automatically release once that solution queue reaches the reticule at the bottom of the line. So that was just a basic demonstration of doing that from a level release. You know, the entire point of this is to give yourself an option uh, so that you can relatively accurately bomb on a target without having to use the CSIP, CCIP cues. You know, you are constrained when using CCIP that it has to be within the confines of the HUD. When you use CCRP, you don't have to stay within those confines. You can like for example, I'm going to salute the cursor up, designate a target, and then I no longer have to keep the reticule within the HUD for a CCIP release. It's just going to give me a steering cue that I can follow that's going to take me towards that target. I can fly straight and level, I can be in a dive, I can be in a climb, and it's going to automatically release once it gets to the, the, uh, the point calculated by the computer for impact on that target. So it's very, very useful for staying away from the target area and not having you confined to a specific run-in uh, run attitude or a specific set of you know, tactics to use. So let's go ahead and deploy a bomb on a, a target right now. I have a set of targets right out in front of me. So let me go ahead and steer, slew my cursor down and see if I can pick something up to uh, demonstrate a run on. Okay, I have a group of three tanks. This is the one that I, that I usually release on. And this is a little bit twitchy. Unfortunately, once you designate, you can no longer slew. So you have to sort of get it right the first time. So let me bring it over, designate, and that should get me in there pretty close. Okay, now I have already hit O, so now I'm in the CCRP release mode. So all I have to do is fly towards that the target, keeping the solution queue lined up with the PB RL, predictive bomb release line. Okay, it should start to track down. When it gets to the bottom, it's going to automatically release, and then I can get off the target without having to overfly, and I can also maintain altitude to stay out of a small arms fire. Okay, I kind of lost the track there. It, uh, it's going to miss a little bit right, but that's okay. And this isn't 100%, you know, it's not a precision bombing mode, you know, it's it's going to get you in there close, but it's not 100 dead accurate every single time. It really does help though to, move, to make smooth control inputs and to make sure that you're not pulling any G's and that you don't have excessive bank on the aircraft and that you're well trimmed at release. Otherwise, the computer just can't keep up and it's not going to predict the release at the desired at the optimal time. So let me try one more release. And this time I'm going to show a more practical application of the CCRP release mode. I'm going to go in from low level, pop up briefly to designate a target, remask by going back to low level, and then sort of loft a bomb into the target area without exposing myself to enemy fire by overflying the target directly and, you know, doing the whole CCIP tracking exercise that, uh, that you would normally do. Okay, so approaching the target area at low level, and let me see here, I'm about six miles out, so let me go ahead and pop up and see if I can uh, designate a suitable target to demonstrate this on. So just having a look, um, this mission's been running for a while now, so a lot of the targets are already gone. But, okay, let me roll back in, and I'll just designate, if nothing else, on this smoke out there in the distance. Okay, so slewing the cursor over, and designate. Okay, close enough for just a demonstration. Okay, now I'm going to remask, go back down to low level. And now I can execute a pop up attack, or I'm sorry, a loft delivery using the CCRP release mode. So to put it into the release mode, I need to go O on the keyboard. Okay, I'm in CCRP. So what I'm going to do is run in on the target, 
align the solution queue. I'm going to put it into a climb, allow the solution queue to track down the PBRL, allow it to release, and then get off the target. And we'll see how that did. So as you can see, it was just a, I stayed low level throughout the entire run, and okay, it's in the right general area. It's, it's really, really hard to designate on an exact area from long range like that. But, I mean, the, the point to that is that I didn't directly overfly the target, and that I was not, you know, like if I had done that as a CCIP, Computer Cal Calculated Impact Point Release, you know, I would have had to have unmasked, gone way up high, roll in, you know, place my paper, track, and I would have been practically directly overflying the target. That time was more of a uh, just roll in, pull slightly, release, and then I was off. So exposed myself to enemy fire uh, at a greatly reduced uh, time interval, and there is a trade-off in accuracy whenever you do that, but you know, in a highly defended and a, you know, a, uh, a AAA and a ground fire rich environment, CCRP can be a, a very useful tool to have. So folks, that's it for this edition. If you found this useful and enjoyed the video, please do consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like, and please do leave a comment. Your comments and your feedback do help a lot. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time.